everyone. Ian Klein here for WMBF News at the Alert Desk uh, this evening. We do not have a 6 o'clock, but we are following what has turned out to be kind of a crazy story out of the PD. We've been following it since earlier this week about a PD paramedic reported missing has now been found dead. Uh, we're learning more and more information about what led to this stretching not just from here in South Carolina, but actually going all the way almost across the state into New Mexico. We're going to start off first uh, with where we began with this missing persons case. We were told that a uh, Florence County uh, EMS worker, Phoenicia Machado 4, her body was recently found in Dillon County yesterday evening. Again, she was reported missing earlier this week. We're told that her body was found in the area of Jones Drive. This is near Lakeview. Again, the Marion County Sheriff's Office giving us this information just a few hours ago as a, more and more details start to develop with this story. Again, Machado 4 was a paramedic with the Florence County EMS, last seen on Tuesday at her home on Wildwood Loop. She was reported missing by authorities on Thursday. The Marion County deputies said that information found through this investigation actually led authorities to where her body was found yesterday evening. Uh, Florence County Sheriff T.J. Joy also saying his department is, quote, grieving to the senseless loss of a loved one and one of their own in the area. Now, as this kind of starts going on again, she was missing from the Florence area, body found yesterday. But then this is where it starts to take an interesting turn. Her car was found in New Mexico. This is a crime scene video we received out of that area. And this is where the story really starts to take an interesting turn. The New Mexico State Police let us, though, let us know that her car was found at the scene of what was now a deadly shooting, claiming the life of a state police officer yesterday. Well, we're told that the suspect right now is 32-year-old Jeremy Smith, who has ties to Marion. He is wanted for the death of a 35-year-old officer, Justin Hare. He was actually coming to the scene to uh, help Smith out, and he is currently that person of interest. We're told by New Mexico State Police that Hare was called to assist with a vehicle on I-40 for a flat tire. We're then told that the suspect, Smith, approached his police car and shot him through the passenger window. The suspect then came over to the driver's side, shooting him again, and drove off. Then that's where we kind of picked up this scene where uh, the car from the EMS worker out of Florence was then left behind. So now the, he becomes our person of interest. Here's some of the information that we've been coming, trying to figure out. Uh, some actual records show that he has over a decade of... Uh, Criminal history within the Marion County area, according to public records, Smith's records include escaping from a prison in 2014. Um, they're accused of beating two detention officers and then ran out of the gate, were eventually captured, pleading guilty to charges related to that escape. He had charges dating back to 2013 for, very similar to this case, discharging a firearm into a vehicle, pointing and presenting a firearm to a person, armed robbery, second-degree burglary, and obtaining stolen goods. Again, Smith, he is considered armed and dangerous and should not be approached. Anyone with information can call the New Mexico State Police Department at 505-425-6771. Again, this is one of those stories that we have been following uh, throughout the week now. A lot of new developments coming in just within the last 24 hours. Um, and we're going to continue to try to find more information. We're starting to kind of wonder how he was able to get out of prison, what exactly his previous charges were. We're told that he has connections to the Albuquerque, New Mexico area, but not too much um, was elaborated on that connection. We do not know what Smith and Machado Four's relationship was, if they knew each other in the area, or if what all of these ties are. Again, different moving parts, but right now we know that two um, people are dead, including Machado Four, who was an EMS worker, and again, that New Mexico State Police officer. Smith, still at large, we'll show you his picture one more time. Again, wanted um, in this deadly shooting of the New Mexico State Police officer um, that was simply just trying to help him yesterday. Uh, again, he is considered armed and dangerous. Do not approach him. They are asking anyone with information to call the New Mexico State Police Department. We'll give you that number again, 
425 67 71 um, if anyone here in the area we know he has ties to marion if you may know about his whereabouts reach out to authorities again he is considered armed and dangerous the car that he originally stole of machado force uh, again that had broken down with a flat tire he took the police cruiser left that on the side of the road on a frontage road they believe he might have left off on foot again they do not know his whereabouts at this time so uh, we do not have a six o'clock this evening but we will continue to follow this story we will have all the latest developments uh, here on WMBF News tonight at 11. We'll be sure to keep you guys posted on air and online. If you haven't already, go ahead and download the WMBF uh, News app. You can scan that QR code right there. You will get the latest push notifications and alerts as we get more information. Uh, and we have been working very hard trying to figure out and piece this whole entire investigation together. Again, the app is free to download, and you can do that right now. We will keep you guys updated. and See you guys tonight at 11.